Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use Shaper to transform a sound like this into something like that. So this is something I wish I've thought about it before. Basically the idea is using Shaper, which is a kind of a complex LFO, more like as a step sequencer where you can modulate any parameter like per step. And when I say any parameter, it's not only the pitch, but can be your filter, a GK of a hat, folding effect, whatever you like. So first you might wonder why use Shaper to do that and not basically Ableton modulation tab. So it's true that I could just go to an Ableton clip and go to the modulation tab and like kind of click B to have the pencil and kind of create my step sequencing this way. I will do that sometimes, but one of the main thing, one of the main problem I have with that is that basically now I cannot edit any more the device that I'm modulating because you can either have the clip view or the instrument view. And go same, I could have used a Max for Life device, but usually they are pretty big, especially if it's a 16 step sequencer, it would take a lot of space or you will be able to just modulate one parameter. And the great thing with Shaper is you can just put it right close to your effect and you can start making your modulation and still being able to tweak your synthesizer. So right now it's acting like a LFO and if I map for example to the filter you can see the filter is following this LFO in order to have a more like a step sequence style you're gonna put the rate at one which is gonna be one bar uh, you can scrap the things here and you can see here you kind of have four step and you can use the grid to kind of have 16 step. So they are not exactly 16 steps, so to speak, but if you use them the way I will show you, they're kind of, because here the thing is to use them as steps. So for example, I will have here my first step, which will be all the way up. And then I will go down and have a second step here. And then I can start to build modulation. So I have something I've pre-made before and I'm gonna follow that. So obviously it might take a bit of time to find a nice combination, but like this is like everything, it's like finding a nice melody, you will have a bit of struggle, but here's a great way now to have your filter modulating. So I found it a little bit too fast. So what you can do is you can play with the rate, which now you can make it a little bit more slower and the step will be like basically two times slower. So now here you have few parameters, you can control the depth, so it's like the amount of the modulation. So basically what I mean is instead of having your filter being modulating all the way through his frequency range, it will be like a smaller frequency range. And you can see now this parameter is gray, so this means you cannot really control it. And it's basically in the middle and you can use offset to kind of basically change that. So basically this frequency, now you cannot control it, but if you wanna control it, you can modulate this offset and you will basically modulate your filter. You see when you all the way down, your filter is all the way down and still modulating and you can open it. This is basically what is replacing this parameter because it's now modulated so you cannot so you cannot automate it. You have phase to change the phase basically which is kind of changing the start of the LFO and you have jitter which will add a bit of randomness so if I exaggerate and smooth which is kind of gonna let me actually put it like this which is gonna kind of smooth the corner a little and everything. It's not exactly that but yeah it's making things a little bit more round but if, if you go in the extreme, you can have like something more triangle now. So yeah, great things to experiment as well with. Now the great things about Shaper is that you can modulate more than one parameter. So for example, I wanna modulate the fold because <laughs> modulate that at a nice tone variation without changing your sound too much. So let's map this uh, to fold. So now it's going a little bit over all over the place. So there is a different way you can tame that you can Maybe play with the offset. This you're really gonna need to tweak, but you can, for example, set that instead of having modulation all the way through all the range of the folding, maybe just the first 20%. So this way it will never go more than 20%. So that's with the effect modulating. And without. 
So it adds this extra subtle modulation and you can even go further and maybe modulate the pitch. So I'm gonna use the semitone parameter here and here's the same. can play with the offset to kind of change the pitch obviously the offset is the same for all of the three parameters so you're gonna have to kind of tweak a little bit the offset uh, maybe the depth and maybe as well the transport minimum and maximum uh, until you find something you like And yeah, then you have a way more, more energetic pattern. So obviously you don't need to do all of in the same time. I've done it for the sake of the example. So one thing that can be interesting as well, I have this sent here and it's for example, to use two shaper with basically the same rate, but a different grid, which means that here is kind of your division inside your bar. So you have seven division, seven step equally distance between your bar. And here you have nine, which is kind of creating, I think a kind of polyrhythm uh, modulation. Obviously you can kind of do some kind of polymeter variation uh, as well, I guess, if you bring the rate for example to uh, something like three and you will have like different length. So this can really uh, create very long sequence before it repeats itself. And I wanted to show you a last trick that I like to use with the pitch. Basically here, what I have, it's, I have operator, I have oscillator A and B, which play side by side. So you can hear both of them together and I put them in fixed frequency and I have this frequency here, which I can change the pitch basically. And what I've done is obviously I've mapped this parameter to my sequencer. So this way now the sequence is what's gonna modulate the pitch and instead of to have a play note like this, I have something a bit more like this. So here again, you can experiment with the number of step of grid and the rate as well. The offset gonna set you original pitch. The desk gonna here set the pitch range that is gonna be modulated. And here cool tips is like, if you basically, if you use smooth at zero, It's really by step and uh, rather than if you add a bit of smooth, it's kind of acting like a glide. Uh, yeah. That's another way to sequence. And I will probably use that as a different method than the classic sequencing. If you lack of ID, lack of inspiration, you don't know what to do to make it sound interesting, just drop a shaper and start to modulate this way. And you might come with an interesting idea or pattern. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you like these little tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon guys. Bye-bye.